Hey YouTubers, I got some uh, pot roast cooking in the, or uh, processing here in the pressure canner and my old canner, I kind of have to watch it pretty closely, it's kind of cantankerous about the pressure so as long as I'm standing here I thought I might as well can up some dry spaghetti. It's just regular store bought spaghetti and uh, we like to make a lot of our own noodles but uh, we keep some of this stuff in storage for just in case, you know, and uh, uh, because uh, uh, we want it to last, we uh, I've been canning a lot of this dry pasta of noodles and spaghetti and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's been kind of a busy day for us here uh, in the kitchen. Mrs. Goat Hollow got up early and uh, sliced up a bunch of mushrooms that we found on sale at the store for 69 cents a package. Pretty good price. So, anyhow, I'll show you how I do this. And uh, uh, I like to put the jars in the oven for about 20 minutes at 225 degrees. And I let them... Uh, dry out that way and then I turn it off because this isn't I'm not really processing or canning stuff uh, there's quite a few videos out on YouTube about you know different stuff uh, like this I think Mrs. Wolfie uh, put up a video on how to do this one a while back but I thought I'd share it too in case you don't subscribe to her channel uh, they don't quite fit in the jar, spaghetti does, so uh, I have to break them in half, and I just put them in like that, a big handful at a time, and, uh, make a big mess with little pieces all over, but, uh, and then the, if I roll them, do a little shake. They'll fit in there better as I go. And uh, I can usually fit almost three pounds of spaghetti in a half gallon pan of jar. We got these jars at an auction. I got a whole bunch of them for, I don't know, ten bucks. Uh, but you can buy them. I know one of our local grocery stores is still carrying them this year. So, I'll keep filling this and uh, show you what it looks like in, when it's full. Okay, YouTubers, here, here's what they look like when you get them full. Um, if you just keep shaking and, and working it down in there, you can get quite a bit in there, actually. Uh, I think there's, uh, well, between the two jars here, there's uh, three two-pound boxes of store-bought dry spaghetti. And all I do next is I put them in a 200-degree oven. And I like to start the oven cold so I don't shock the glass. I just turned it on. And uh, for about a half an hour. Here's what uh, some egg noodles look like that I did the other day. They're sealed. The reason I like to do this, and we talked about getting the uh, vacuum sealer attachment that goes on a, 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 a not seal a meal, uh, we've got a, a food saver, okay? But <clears throat> by putting them in the oven, like I just did, and you notice I did not put the caps and rings on. I'll show you that. In, a while. <clears throat> By putting them in the oven like that, you accomplish a couple things. You drive off any moisture that's in here, so it's perfectly dry and dehydrated. Uh, and like I say, it's going to be in a 200 degree oven for half hour, 45 minutes. And you kill any bugs eggs or anything that might be in there that you might, that might come in with the store. 
So now it's uh, perfectly clean. De you know, this is basically dehydrated stuff, so you're not really processing. You don't have to worry about a lot of things like you would with canning. It's sealed. Uh, mice, bugs, everything else can't get in there, and the shelf life ought to be like forever. So that's the reason I do it. I'm going to let that sit in the oven for a while. I'm still watching my uh, canner for about another hour. And uh, when these are done, I'll uh, come back to you and uh, show you how I seal them up. Okay, YouTubers, we're back and our spaghetti's done. i got about 10 minutes before my uh, pot roast is done in the pressure canner and I'll turn it off. I can't use the jar lifter to lift these half gallon jars. So I'll just use a, a, a towel like this. And uh, I've had the lids uh, softening in my toaster oven at 150 degrees. Uh, so they're hot. And uh, I just put them on. I like to get them on good and tight. <clears throat> Everything's hot, so you gotta be careful. And uh, take them out one at a time and uh, do them that way so they won't cool off before you get them sealed up. You could probably reuse lids for this <clears throat> if you check them out carefully. And uh, there we go. They'll probably pop and seal. And I'll take the bands off and and uh, wash them up and store them. And that spaghetti ought to be good for. Uh, years to come in there. It's uh, very dry, dehydrated. Bugs and mice and stuff can't get to it. And it's uh, sealed. So that's how I like to do it. We'll get through this.